Let's start our meditation practice. <clears throat> Please find very comfortable posture. Keep your back straight as much as you can. Gently close your eyes. Take a few deep, long breaths. And relax your whole body. Calm down your mind. Relax your whole body from the top of your head to the tip of your toes. Observe all the different part of your body individually and see if they are relaxed, free from tension or strain. Breathe in deeply, breathe out softly. Relax, relax, relax. Let's practice loving-kindness meditation, thinking, may I be well, may I be happy, may I be peaceful. May I be well, may I be happy, may I be peaceful. Understand the meaning of each words deeply and clearly and repeat them to yourself. May I be well. May I be happy. May I be peaceful. Be loving and kind person to yourself. May I be well, may I be happy, may I be peaceful. Practicing self-loving kindness is greatest medicine 
to heal yourself within. Wish to yourself, bless to yourself. May I be free from mental and physical suffering. May I be free from illness, fear, anger, hatred, delusion, worries, May I be free from all the negativities. May I be able to take care of myself happily. May I be well. May I be happy. May I be peaceful. Understand how important self-love. If you are truly loving, kind person to yourself, it's much easier to love others. Feel peaceful, loving thoughts to yourself. Now think about your family, your friends and your loved ones. Imagine them individually, their faces. May my parents, husband or wife, boyfriend or girlfriend, children, grandchildren, your best friend, close friends, co-workers, neighbors, all brothers and sisters. And also think about your pets. May all my family be well, be happy, be peaceful. Imagine your family and your friends send your loving kindness to them. May all my family be well, be happy, be peaceful. May all my family be well, be happy, be peaceful. <coughs>
if you have any difficult people in your life think about them and please send your loving kindness maybe one of your family member think about them may my difficult people or person be well be happy be peaceful now extend all of your loving kindness and compassionate thoughts to the whole the world in this moment so many people are suffering mentally and physically some people are in sickness hunger thirst in danger in fear in this moment we couldn't help them physically but we can send our love and kindness and compassionate thoughts please send your love and kindness to you to all the world may all living beings be well be happy be peaceful may all living beings be well be happy be peaceful may all human beings and non-human beings and also nature of the environment be well be happy be peaceful may all beings be free from mental and physical suffering may they be free from sickness fear anger hatred worries may they be free from all the negativities may they be able to take care of themselves happily may they be well may they be happy may they be peaceful
may they be well may they be happy may they be peaceful now with your loving awareness please slowly turn your attention to your subtle sensation of the breath your natural ordinary breath if you want to change your posture any time you can change your posture do it mindfully and slowly keep your back straight it's very helpful to breathe no need to control your breathing center attention to the tip of your nose take in every breath mindfully take out every breath mindfully breathe in mindfully breathe out mindfully so many sounds thoughts sensation emotions may distract your mind let them come and go focus on your natural ordinary breath breathe in mindfully breathe out mindfully breathe in mindfully breathe out mindfully
this is your time to spend time with yourself. There is no one can practice for us. We have to do with ourselves. Be mindful about your natural, ordinary breath. Breathe in mindfully, breathe out mindfully. Where is your mind? Please bring it back to the breath. Breathe in mindfully. Breathe out mindfully.
Now observe your mind. Observe your body. Your body is relaxed, mind is calm, tranquil and peaceful. Think about how important it is to practice this meditation every day, keeping ourselves happy, peaceful and balanced. Please bring your palms together in front of your heart. Make a strong determination to practice this meditation every day. May peace be with you. May all living beings be well, be happy, be peaceful. Thank you very much. Please open your eyes. Please chant all together, uh, page number four. Namo tassa bhagavato arahato samma sambuddhasa Namo tassa bhagavato Arahanto Samma Sambuddhas Namo Tass Bhagavato Arahanto Samma Sambuddhas Buddham Saranam Gachami Dhammam saranam gachami Sangam saranam gachami Dutiyampi buddham saranam gachami Dutiyampi dhammam saranam Gachami Dutiyam pe sangam saranam Gachami Tatiyam pe buddham saranam Gachami Tatiyam pe dhammam Saranam gachami Tatiyam pe sangham Saranam gachami Anicca vata sankara Uppad vaya dhammino Uppa jitva nirujjanti Te sang upa samo suko Sabbe satta avera hontu Sabbe satta Abhya Pajja Hontu Sabbe Satta Aniga Hontu Sabbe Satta Sugiyatta Nam Pariharantu 
மனோபுங்கமா மனோசிட்டா மனோமய மனசாச்சே பதுட்டேன வாசதி வாரோதி வா தோ மன்வேதி சாக்காங்க மனோபுங்கமாதம் மனோசிட்டா மனோமய மனசாச்சே பசன்ன கோதி வாத்தோனுக்கேதி சாயவனி the speak or act so for him follow course by that he'll follow the oxus swap man is called my sheep my may and they this kill my is act pinus follow course by that open shadow that never leaves we believe my wish good evening everybody uh, so how are you today uh, thank you so much for coming and practice with us uh, today i would like to share with you um, about eight noble path um, there's a one we call samma sankap uh it's mean uh, right right thoughts uh and right thinking uh we can uh, translate uh, right thoughts right thinking or right uh intention or wholesome thoughts it's one of um eight noble path um way to find happiness we need right thoughts we need to clear uh thinking that's why we practice meditation and meditation help us to uh clear our mind uh keep our mind balanced and bring happiness to us uh and also there are three roots in our mind always make that's the make us unhappy 
do you know what are the roots in our mind uh, make us unhappy we all, i know you want to be happy we all want to, want to be happy and peaceful but we have main three roots what make us unhappy first one is lobe lobe mean uh, greed greediness and we can call attachment desire uh, and also second one is dosa dosa mean anger hatred disappointment um, and third one is moha ignorance delusion or un- unknown these three roots are the main we are making unhappy bring our us we are creating unhappy with ourselves in our thoughts in our mind it's very interesting to think about this three how our greed when we are greed greedy it's different level i mean that's why attachment it could be desires different level in our mind and same way anger hatred is maybe dislike disappointment and also ignorance and uh, delusion this it could be just one make you unhappy or this all three together that's me we make the create our thoughts in in our mind uh, when we talking about samma sankappa i mean uh, wholesome thinking good thinking as we practice loving kindness meditation that's why after practicing meditation we have to understand uh, we have peace and relaxation because we we develop good thoughts uh, loving thoughts uh, loving kindness to ourselves and we think about others it's 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 very interesting to think and practice um, and i have a, a story i read a book ajan brahmanso's a book um, maybe you before uh, hear this story uh, this is story from uh, 1980s <laughs> old story in thailand uh, what i is a famous uh, meditation teacher ajan brahmanso when he was he went to the become monk in thailand uh, in 1980s it's uh, a long time ago 50 years ago or something uh, when he's young uh, there's a huge famous meditation center in thailand um, it's a famous teacher achan cha the his teacher in in their start their meditation center they in that time uh they bought a huge land and uh they start to build the monastery forest monastery and unfortunately what happened they had the storm and uh it destroyed all the villages and uh the monastery anyway then host the living in the monks for us monk they have to build their own monastery again back back to normal but uh the monks they are don't know how to build the temple they build the buildings then host the uh, ajan brahmanso he's the monk he with other monks he had to make the bricks using the mud and making the bricks and after that make the pyre and make dry and it's a lot of difficult work he had to with other brother monks he had to make the bricks and start to build the monastery because other all the villagers poor people they destroy they are they are in trouble too they got 
really difficult time because the storm, they couldn't help for monks too. That, that's why they had to do it themselves. Anyway, it's the monks, they start uh, to build the uh, monastery building, but they don't know how to do that. But anyway, they start to build, build the walls. Uh, they start to build the walls and finally they finish the, all the build dinghy stuff. Then finally, look at the, after building the walls, the monks, he saw there's the perfect wall, but missing some bricks. You can see like our compassion uh, wall, like that, the so bricks we can see, but he saw there's a missing two bricks. Then he's so upset. We, he so worked so hard making bricks and build the walls, and he's so upset and angry. Oh, I have to do it again. Then what he did, he asked the abbot monk, his teacher, do I uh, took down and build it again? Who's the teacher? He looked at and he smiled. No. You had to keep it. And he left. Then he saw worrying and say upset. Um, and he had to keep it. But he wanted to do it perfect. That's the, his, his plan. So after that, after a week later, week or two later, visitors, because the people are come to the uh, monastery and they are amazing about the uh, what the monks did and they are so happy and they are visiting and around and in that time who's the monk uh, Ajahn Brahmanso what he tried to do he tried to do always try to avoid taking people past his bad wall <laughs> he don't want to see other people that that wall because they are missing some uh, but one day, the person saw that and he said, Oh, Bhante, this is a very nice wall. You did such amazing things. Then what uh, the Ayan Brahman saw, he said, uh, Are you blind? Do you forget your glasses in your car? <laughs> Do you see that two bricks are missing, mis mislined? Then what that person said, that's the interesting thing. What he said, yeah, I saw that. They said, there's two uh, bricks are missing, but see, other 998 bricks are perfect. In that time, listening that, his words, that he's explaining, his mind totally changed. Oh, I never thought, think about that. I always focus this. Think about that this story is very, uh, two sides of message we can learn. First one is two bad bricks. We, we, as ourselves, we always focus to bad bricks in ourselves. Uh, and I remember when the, when the pandemic started, I remember someone told us when we are guiding loving kindness meditation and we are telling uh, about ourselves and um, um, may I be free from anger, hatred, jealousy, ego, worries, that kind of negative side we are, uh, when we are guiding, we are reminding in that the person said, please don't tell that, that words. It's very interesting. Some, sometimes we don't like to hear our weakness. 
we don't want to hear our weakness we don't want we want to hide it that's why sometimes we we are distracting our mind doing different things but we don't like to reality uh anyway as my point we we don't want to see the always we don't want to see the bread two bricks but if we can we have to know it we have to know it we i have it i know what is the weaknesses uh, then we can fix it that's the one side other side 998 bricks are good bricks uh when we if we are focusing all is about the two bad bricks we are unhappy and we are worrying and um we have a lot of negative thoughts but if we focus the good side in our life we don't as a host that uh, host that visitor we can see in our good in our life and also others too think about our relationships or with working with others we always focus bad side and they, we are we are creating lot of uh, negativities to ourselves and we couldn't uh, angry with others and we couldn't forgive them and we it's lot of difficulties we 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 creating in ourselves but if we can see both side that's why i told this in this story two side we can see as a two bad breaks we can we couldn't focus but we have to know it oh and we can uh, overcome uh, in our difficulties and weaknesses we can fix our weaknesses we have to know it and 998 breaks we have to see it and we can cultivate more uh, good things in our life then it's helpful to the, for the other fix our weakness and problems um other thing when we are focusing the two bread bricks uh and we are knowing it and also we can uh we have how do we fix it that's the important thing other other important thing we we know it we are uh, just example i'm getting angry i have uh i have i have fear i have something like that what do you focus you know it you understand it and how to fix that that that's very important thing what is important thing how to let go and focusing more positive and good side and there's another simple technique there's a group of monk walking in the forest whose teacher is is the is the uh, walking in the forest and with other student monks in with uh, talk and when they are walking this the teacher so in front of the walking path there is a dead uh, tree branch that fell down and what he did he grabbed it and he asked the, his student uh, how heavy is this stick right away before answering anyone what he did he throw it away <laughs> then what is the the stick is only heavy when you hold it when you throw it away the heaviness is gone understand it what is this question what is the uh how is heavy this stick and try to where he throw it away it's a simple act simple story we have a deep meaning deep message for us we have to recognize it and recognize our what our negative emotion or feeling or thoughts and we have to learn how to let go it if we hold in it we are keep thinking about the two bread bricks uh, the negative thoughts is getting more more worries uh, we want to hide it and lot of negativities we are creating in our self very interesting to think 
in our practice, uh, how to use in our practical life, um, especially loving kindness and awareness practice. Uh, very important to focus this side, and it's very helpful for your life. How to overcome all the situation, and you can find happiness and peace within yourself. Okay, that's the, my message today. Uh, thank you so much. Mm. Okay, do we have new people today? Uh, please say your names. We want to welcome you. Hi, I'm Warren. Welcome. Hi, I'm Matthew. Welcome to the temple. Hi, I'm Alisa. Hi, I'm Alisa. Welcome to the temple. Okay, thank you so much. And uh, if you are new, please write down your name and email. You will receive there's a book. Uh, you, uh, you will receive our mass uh, weekly email, all the programs and things. And I have uh, two announcements. Uh, uh, one is we have Saturday is our big day. We have meditation 10 to 11, and uh, Monday and Wednesday. And next next month we are planning to start Tuesday morning meditation too. And also uh, when we visit our Facebook page and Bikuni Vimala. She is doing uh, online meditations, uh, morning times. And also we have Elkan meditation now we start. Uh, and soon next month, same Geneva meditation we are going to start. A lot of programs going on. And also, if you do like to help monks and temple, uh, Saturday we are doing Sri Lankan lunch, lunches. Uh, it's very helpful. You would like to help monks. Uh, it's helpful to us. And also, uh, we have August 21st um, International um, Dinner Festival. Uh, we are actually early. We start promote because this is su summertime. And uh, please keep your day. Uh, please help the temple in this time. Is very important for us, uh, for the temple especially. Uh, that's why we are arranging this fundraiser uh, uh, because last two years we have we, we used to do we our biggest fundraiser test of Sri Lanka. We missed it because of the pandemic. Uh, that's why we were thinking we have decided to do this fundraiser. Uh, we are really appreciating your help. And it's very, we need in this time. Uh, please keep that day and please uh, tell, um, tell your friends and bring your families. And uh, especially keep that day, uh, August 21st, 4 to 7. Uh, and that day, that's the after pandemic, after two years, I think almost two years, um, all the community get back nice uh, gathering. Uh, yeah, we are so happy to see you all in there. Yeah, thank you so much. Um, have a peaceful night. And also, if you have any question, please ask um, after service. Yeah, thank you so much. <laughs>